The STEM is a new kind of content browser, like a window in a desktop OS, but designed specifically for XR and natural interaction. STEMs appear when your hand is near. Once a STEM is visible, you can pinch your fingers together and move your hand up and down to scroll. You can also scroll from a distance. Just reach out and a marker called an anchor appears. The coloured anchor indicates an interactive element. You can scroll with either hand. Content turns to face you, so it's easy to view wherever you are. Stems can hold many different types of content. Text can appear at different depths and different positions. Stems can hold images, videos, 3D models, animations, buttons, menus, almost anything you can imagine. Stems are not rigid frames, they're more like loose collections of content. Content can be interactive, dynamic and responsive. Buttons and pull-out menus can be used to modify or spawn new stems and new content. You can pick up a stem by pinching it and turning your hand to face you. If you release the pinch, the stem stays fixed to your hand. You can turn your hand over to minimise the stem. By doing this, you can carry stems with you, useful for quick reference. This system can be extended so you can carry multiple stems and easily switch between them. You can scroll a carried stem by pinching and moving your hand up and down. You can place the stem back into the environment by pinching and turning your hand over. It's easy to pick up a stem from far away to inspect it more closely or to reposition it. Clippers sit at the top and bottom of each stem. You can grab them to resize. Grabbing with both hands quickly lets you scan through content. Stems are powerful, minimalist UI components that can be quickly and easily operated with a single hand. They can be used to make a huge variety of components, from simple text labels to menus, instructions, web pages, apps, and more. This is just the beginning, and there are many more features that can be added to this foundation. Pinning stems to physical and virtual objects, nesting stems, docking stems in walls, tables and keyboards, placing stems in the distance, and experimenting with more advanced content types, such as power hands. Thank you for watching.